Yes. That is art, slow, isn't it? Like that perfect blend of intuition, risk and experience that gives you some kind of structure and form that you know where you've got to go. And it has been massive, but we, we, we have actually done it, which is a kind of miracle. Because at Everybody Now, we garner so many beautiful, true story, real people, real stories, where pain, whatever that is, has occurred, and people have courageously found their way through that. So I haven't, I haven't been involved in a big transformational story like that for a long time. We did! Oh my gosh! Like, look at the smile on my face. The cold air on your wet body, it makes you feel like you're flying! <laughs> it's the best. I'm Kate Baggerson and I'm the Artistic Director of Everybody Now with my fabulous co-artistic directors Ben Reed and Ian Pidd and we are company in residence at Bleach Festival this year which means that we are setting up shop here at Miami Marquetta for seven days to make some new original music about roller skating. What could possibly go wrong? We can go down tiny rabbit holes this week. It's one of the luxuries. And you never know what you find in a rabbit hole. Often you find the show, but sometimes it might just be a rabbit hole and that's fine. <laughs> More often than not, when we come back, back together to be the three of us, it's in the middle of a project. There's some intensity to it. There's often a timeline to it. It can be a bit stressful. And we kind of thrive on that. Not everybody does. It's a bit of an acquired taste. You know, the project's called Roller Coaster, and it has really delivered in that up and down process but also this contracting and expanding process of collecting information from individuals and from community and expanding that out into a creative process with a group of artists who bring all of their stories to that as well and then contracting it back in and sharing that back to the community. Yeah. You are. So <laughs> and we, here we are. <laughs> we, we are now we are now the pupils and you are the you are the experts. It's all about um, the welcoming and I think chatting with the Derby team um, and having those conversations just how they felt so welcome and a part of something bigger than themselves. Like we all crave that I feel as humans to to feel uh, welcomed and heard and seen and supported. So being able to slip an arm around a skater who's never put on wheels before and help hold you know, her in, in balance, like that's it's a given. Like that, of course, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the community, welcome to the space. I don't even know how to describe it. It's been amazing to have a space to be able to share our experiences and our journey and to be able to see that put into music and then skate to it is a kind of awesome feeling that you get. It was amazing to skate with live music. The band was just incredible and hearing the lyrics that were about some of the experiences that we'd had just blew my mind. We don't have any lyrics here, but we got Deb Suckling is an artist that I have wanted to work with for a very long time. There's not a person that she meets as a songwriter that she doesn't then carry that story in her heart. Everyone's got a story and how community songwriting works so beautifully is that story which can be so hard to speak um, can be shared more easily within a song and you know we like to be able to give something back to people who need to let go of something. The last few years has left you, has it taken you from your trunk or has it? Getting to know that community and listening to their stories around their passion and their love of, of skating and how it affects them um, in their everyday life and, and our job uh, as songwriters has been to really kind of go into their stories and turn those stories into banging songs. For me, the most important thing about this project is that it highlights the individual stories 
and we're getting to meet some really amazing people from the community and bring their experiences alive. Mo Moni once once said to me, said to us, my skates were my antidepressants. Oh yeah, yeah that's so true. Definitely, yes. When I first um, met Moni and listened to her story, I was deeply, deeply moved. Yeah, I wanted to give her something because uh, to make her know that I had seen her power. I was a really great roller skater, but not a very good mum. The one gift that I have from my house burning down is that joy is the currency of the soul. And roller skating has been a really great function for me to do that. Because if you want to learn how to fly, you've got to learn how to fall. Yeah. Yeah. I am so grateful for the stories that have been shared through this whole experience between musicians, between skaters, between artists. And you know, I think, I think story is where it's at for all of us. To honour someone by gifting them a song is a really special thing. this incredible sonic landscape that Elephants creates that is just at one moment virtuosic and operatic. And then the next minute she is just smashing out serious rock goddess, powerful energy. This particular sport is, is really magical because everyone just keeps saying, you know, it, it, it makes, it's, it's the feeling of flying and it's the feeling of the air going really quickly and you're sort of just going, you know, fast and it's that inertia that, you know, you're building that yourself with your own body and then you can kind of just release with it. When everything is all of a sudden on wheels, how we can capture and celebrate and spotlight real intimacy in movement and also give the people witnessing that, ex that really big kinesthetic experience. Watching Beck choreograph the group of roller skaters just was such a thrill. She is 100% the most experienced person in Australia in community movement making. When you're in movement on skates, you have this instant permission to be an other. And then music kicks in and you're in a complete another world with that music. And you're often doing things with your body that you didn't think you actually would ever do. But somehow the skates are taking care of that for you. So as the music is being originally written and put down, I'm already starting to think about moments in the music that are all physical and where the sort of dramaturgy of the bodies does the work. The lines that have just come naturally out of a lot of the crew, like she's my ride or die, about you know having that best friend in the sport and that best friend is just there for you non-stop. Thank you everybody now team, you guys are just amazing, I'm so blessed to be a part of this experience and I'm so thankful we got to tell Lily's story, uh, that meant a real lot to me. It was really beautiful to bring her memory back and keep her alive with us, it was just such a tragedy to go through and just keeping her name out there and alive and just getting the support for those kids. The kind of emotional health of our communities is needing connection, needing more than connection, needing social change, needing policy change, needing structural change. But where artists can be the driver is in cultural change and providing these platforms for people to be resilient, happy and connected communities. And that is what we try and do through our projects. They take resourcing and money and time because the process needs to be long enough that those stories have space to come to the front. We, at the beginning of this week, weren't sure where it might go and now we can see a really clear picture of what this project might evolve to be and that's because people have trusted us with our story and we're so incredibly grateful for that. saying you made this happen is a kind of miracle already and it doesn't in some ways it doesn't really matter if this goes well or not it's going to <laughs> We believe that there could not be a more important time in Australia for community engaged and socially engaged art. Oh. 
It's been so good and so healing and just, just amazing. It's just amazing for you. You get all your feelings out and you can just dance and feel. It brings me joy right from my stomach up. Seriously, we need this so badly. And I'll be like, One, two, three, four. When I see that they're up on their feet, it's yeah. so good. And I'm just, yeah, it's very special to be a part of. And um, it feels like we're truly making something memorable this week. We're so lucky. It's extremely hard work and it's massively joyful. <laughs>